Ingram? That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four fat man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Being the door. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled into Cambridge Police Station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. That's not surprising. After all. It's in good hands. I appreciate that. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, oh, no, not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. <laughs>